Hey, what's poppin', boys, girls, everyone in between and otherwise? My name's Adri, and welcome back to Life Hates Adri. Today, I'm gonna share a story, but I'm gonna give you some insight and context as to why it was so unbelievably traumatic to me. If you watch my 50 facts about me, you'll know that I dislike, I hate, in fact, bugs. Mm, insects are not my ooh, hell to the no. I'm 15 years of age. I'm 15 years old. I'm in high school. I will not kill a spider unless I have a 10 foot pole with a flip flop and a swiffer at the end of it, okay? It's not happening. Once I had ants in my basement, you know what I did? I got a vacuum and I sucked them all up. I am a child, I will not kill bugs. So that's why this story is a little bit traumatic for me. Let's get into the story. I'm just sitting in my bed on my phone, it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm like, crap, you know, maybe I should go to sleep. I have school tomorrow because I'm like five. I put my phone away, I try to go to bed. About an hour later, at like 12 o'clock, I'm like, hmm, you know, I really need to go to the bathroom. So I get up, I go to the bathroom, come back to my room, I stand in the doorway, I'm like, oh my god, it's so, it's so dark. I can't, I can't see anything. I, if I tried to get on my bed, I guarantee it would have fallen. So I stand there in the doorway for a second, I turn on the light, and I see a, a centipede, a house centipede, crawl across my headboard. Okay, okay, okay. It was like this big. All right, first of all, it was big. Second of all, it was on my headboard, which means I was sleeping with it. Can you imagine if I didn't get up? Oh, that thing could have been any Oh my God. I was sleeping with a centipede. Oh my God. The thought of that just makes me itch. So I stand there for a second. I don't know what to do. Like if it was during the day, I would have gotten my mom or someone in the house to kill it because I will not. I didn't think properly. My brain functions weren't working. So I walked from my doorway to the other side of my bed and every step I took, it was kind of like this, 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 and I got one tissue, a singular tissue, as as if that was gonna do anything. 12 a.m. Remember that. I come back to the other side of my bed. I see it's I see it's in the crack of my headboard, and then it crawls down into like the skirt of my bed. And I bend over, I go and grab it because I'm smart. I can feel it crush in my hand because I have one tissue. Okay, it was disgusting. Ooh, it still ooh, makes me itch, but. The scariest part is when I went to grab it and I felt it crush. Uh, uh. I picked it up. I'm like, hi, I have you. I killed you. I was very fucking wrong because I looked down on the bed skirt to see half of it's still there and half of it's in the tissue. Half. Half of it's still moving on my bed. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I ran to my bathroom to throw the tissue away. I came back. I looked at it. It was still there. It's still moving and I'm alive and I'm like, fuck, not today, Satan. Mom's like, well, who are you yelling at? Why are you yelling? It's 12 o'clock, go to bed. And I'm like, yeah, I would if there was a fucking centipede on my bed. But I told her, I'm like, yeah, I'm sleeping with you. I grab my pillow, I grab my stuffed animals, I go to her room because I, ooh, am not sleeping in that bed. I close the door behind me as if that's gonna stop a centipede. So I go sleep with her for the next two weeks, but the de next day I go back to my room and I check on the centipede. I look at the bed skirt where I left it. It's not there. I, I, pfft. I still don't know where it went to this day, and this happened like over a month ago. And I basically slept with my mom for the next two weeks because I completely refused to sleep in a bed with a centipede. I was literally gonna Google, how long do they live for? So I could know when it's safe to go back into my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that because I knew if I, I would see some pictures of centipedes and I would have cried immediately. That's my traumatic bug story. I slept with a centipede. I ever see one in my room again, I am immediately grabbing my <laughs> and running. I do not like bugs. My friends will make fun of me for this. Be like, what are you doing? You're like 15, you can kill a bug, you're bigger than it. You know what else I'm bigger than? A bullet. They can both kill me. One of them's just a lot more scary. And guess what? It's not the bullet. Hope you enjoyed that short, but uh, traumatic experience of mine. Or never forget it. I can't. That crush is still in my hand. Ugh. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Press that bell button to turn on notifications so you'll notice every time I post a video, which is every week if you haven't noticed by now. Anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next week. ka -chow. Oh, look, my neighbor's out. Hello, he's staring at me. Hi, I'm just filming a video. Hi, please don't look at me like that. Hi, hi, frick.